Hey guys, welcome to another furry film review. I'm your host, Kame the Turtle, and here I review movies that feature an animal or an animal like character in the main cast. If you got a movie that you would love to see me review, let me know in the comments below with hashtag film review. After a brief synopsis of the movie, I'll tell you if I think the movie is brilliant or deserves to get slapped in the face by a fish like this. Thank you. All right. So today's movie is the 2004 movie from DreamWorks Pictures, Shark Tale. Here we are introduced to one of the dual protagonists, Lenny the Shark. Lenny's not like most other great white sharks in that he's in fact a vegetarian. And his father, the dawn of the local mafia, wants him and his brother Frankie to take over. But Lenny can't even eat a worm on the hook. Quite literally, while the brothers go away to talk to their father, we meet the second half of our dual protagonists in the form of Oscar, a cleaning rat working at a whale wash. Think of this as a car wash. Oscar wants to live the good life because he feels that his current situation is a nobody. So he's always after those quick rich schemes. You probably have an idea of a quick rich scheme in your head right now. So he tends to borrow a fair bit of money from his boss at the car wash to little or no success. His boss is something about a lone shark even though he's a puffer fish and is in deep with the dawn of the mafia aka the shark's father. When Sykes the puffer fish informs Don that Lenny, he's a shark, would not be a good fit for leadership as he's not a killer. Don demands that Sykes pay him protection money so that his shark doesn't go off on his car wash. Sykes decides to get in his head to have Oscar pay up all he owes. When Oscar can't exactly pay up, his good friend Angie from the car wash gives him a pink pearl to pawn off. On the way uh, to pay the Sykes the money he owes, he overhears how a race at the racing track had been rigged and a name of Lucky Day. He gives him his head to immediately bet all the money he just made to pay Sykes back on Lucky Day in order to not only pay off the debt, but get rich. Here we are met with the lionfish Lola. No, not Lola Bunny. Different character. Although she does remind me of a different rabbit character. I can't quite put my finger on it. Something about who framed Roger Rabbit. Oh well, it'll come to me, right? She quickly admits that she is shallow. In her own words, she is shallow. She is someone superficial. And only with somebody if they can prove that they have enough money to keep her interest. The race happens and Lucky Day is having the worst luck. Finds out the race was actually raised against him. Oscar and Psyche lose all the money. So Sykes had his two jellyfish henchmen, Bernie and Ernie, go deal with his Oscar. Lenny and his brother Frankie are going out to try to show that Lenny is in fact a killer. They scare off the jellyfish and Lenny pretends to eat Oscar. But Oscar forgets to run away in time. So Frankie goes to actually eat it Oscar to show Lenny how it's done. When an anchor falls on top of Frankie, killing him. Lenny runs away and Oscar is mistakenly believed to have killed the shark. Oscar quickly rises. It's this wave to fame. 
at the shark slayer. Lola now returns because Oscar is famous now and his good friend Angie is kind of pushed to the side. While at the party at his new penthouse at the top of the reef, if word comes in that there's a shark in the area and Oscar goes out to deal with it. Turns out these are a pair of sharks looking for our runaway, Lenny. Lenny quickly finds out that Oscar is in fact a con artist, pretending to be the shark slayer, and convinces him to help him lie low. Eventually, Oscar kills Lenny in front of the shark family, carrying them away from the reef. And cementing in Oscar's status as a shark slayer. Meanwhile, Lenny he disguised himself as a dolphin and worked at the car wash. Oscar enjoyed his good life, but then Angie let them know how wrong he is. And once Oscar realizes that what he was looking for wasn't really all this shine of fame and fortune, but to be a somebody to, in somebody's eyes, he wanted to give it up. When he goes to try and make up with Lola, he finds out the Dawn has taken her as hostage. So Oscar and Lenny, they go to the meet with the Dawn and try to steal Lola back. Very little miserably, of course, and eventually they have a chance to sit down and air out all their grievances. Dawn and Lenny make up. Oscar gets together with Angie. Happy ending. Now for the review bit. I shall review it on three points. Characters, story, and art. Characters. I like to think each of these characters stand out in their own way. Bernie and Ernie are very comedical, even though they are just muscle all for the lone shark Sykes. Sykes himself is a fairly fleshed out character for what little we know about him. Angie and Lola, both characters do act more than just their role of faithful friend and, and superficial girlfriend. Oscar and Lenny, Oscar has the most growth in the film being the main star, but Lenny does have some as well. So overall, I would say the characters in this movie are brilliant. Now the story. Story-wise, I would say that this movie does stand out fairly well. It's hard for me to pinpoint another movie exactly like it. Is it possible there's other out there? Of course. So story, I would have to give it a brilliant artwork. The characters are fairly fleshed out. Backgrounds are nice. The water, eh, it's totally flat. Compared to Finding Nemo, this might as well be taking place on a green screen. Finding Nemo is practically the pinnacle of underwater or movies. Finding Nemo is like the pinnacle of underwater animated movies. Maybe there's better ones out there? There are? I don't want to know. So, art, I would have to give brilliant as well. Overall, I think this movie is brilliant. Do you agree with me or not? Let me know in the comments below. But speaking of comments, if you liked what you saw and want more, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell for notifications when my next video airs. Leave a like or maybe a comment. Share with friends, family, any other furry friendos you might know. And I hope to see you all next time. Jane. Shout outs go to Opa Kawaii over on Fur Affinity, together kind of promise to, and to every single artist who let me use their art. Links for them in the description below. Be sure to check them out and give them some love. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Click the video on screen right now to check out another one of my videos. Until next time, Johnny.